Hello guys, welcome to the video. Salt here. Today we are going to be looking at the arc gun, the Cortege. Now in this weapon series, I take a weapon, I build it out, and I test that weapon on its own merits, meaning I don't mix it with any kind of external factors. That would be things like warfarm abilities, pets putting statuses on enemies, things like that. I just test the weapon on its own merits and I let the viewer make their own intelligent conclusion about adding those external factors to the weapons. So let's get into the Cortege here. So the Cortege is an arc gun, so it can be used on uh, arc wing, it can be used uh, as a heavy weapon, and it can be used um, on your necromech. So it is a flamethrower, and it's a flamethrower that has a uh, secondary alt fire that can only be done after you've charged it up. So kills will charge up that alt fire, and then when it's full, you can actually alt fire it. It'll shoot out a bunch of grenades. The grenades will stay on the ground as like a, a heat AoE source. And it'll do some damage. Now, the explosion from the alt fire grenades will do a lot of damage, but the actual source on the ground that stays for a bit, like the heat source on the ground, is fixed. A lot of the damage of it is fixed, and also most of it can't be affected by mods. So it's a little bit unimpressive, and it doesn't scale super well, the actual like um, effect on the ground. The blast is fine. The blast is fine and it scales normally, but the effect on the ground doesn't really scale normally. So, okay. Um, the flamethrower is going to have innate heat. It's also going to have infinite body punch through. And it will um, also produce a little bit of a radial, a radial effect around the target you're shooting. The blast effect from the alternate fire um, has innate blast. And then it does that area effect like I, like I had said. And I'll show it in the gameplay as well. So, okay. So let's get into the mods here. Mods are going to be parallax scope for crit chance. Hollowed bullets for crit damage. Contamination casing for 60-60 toxin. Charge bullets for 60-60 electric. Um, this right here, these these mods are going to be dependent on the content you're doing. So I'm going to be showing this on Whisper's content, and so I'm going to be using Corrosive. But if I was doing normal content, Viral would be re really good. Or if I was doing Eidolons, I don't know why you would use a Cortege against Eidolons, but if you were doing like Eidolons or Orphixes or something, I think Orphixes might be uh, uh, vulnerable to radiation. I can't remember if Orphixes are radiation or corrosive, but you might want to switch to radiation. But like these two mod slots are basically whatever element you need for the content you're doing. So I'm going to be using Corrosive here. Next, we're going to use Containment Breach. This is a new mod that came out in Whispers content. This is going to have uh, 60 radiation and 30 multi-shot. Dual rounds for multi-shot. Automatic trigger for fire rate. And primed rubato lined barrel for 187% flat damage. Um, other options for this build are going to be Magma Chamber over Containment Breach. So for Whispers, um, Containment Breach will be better than Magma Chamber, just because there are, like, half of the enemies basically are vulnerable to radiation. And so um, you'll get more value out of Containment Breach than you will Magma Chamber. But for regular gameplay, like, if you weren't doing Whispers, if you were, like, do using your Necromech on um, Lua Circulus or something like that, or Railjack, um, Magma Chamber likely would be better than Containment Breach. They're very close, though. They're super close to what... To, uh, to what they do. So it's really up to you. You could you could just leave Container Breach on and it would be fine. Or honestly, you could probably leave Magma Chamber on too and it would be okay. It would be slightly weaker in, um, in Whispers. Um, now, the one that is stronger than both of these, but I don't think it's the best option, is going to be Critical Focus. In my testing, Critical Focus was better than both of those. However, this is a flamethrower. And critical focus requires you to aim in. So you need to be aiming in while you're shooting. And I don't feel like that's the best way to be playing the Cortege, like aiming in with a flamethrower. But it does technically do the most damage out of both of those. Not crazy more damage, but a little bit more damage. So if you really, really want to min-max and you don't really care about like that it feels uncomfortable because you have to aim in with a flamethrower, then you, then you would put critical focus over containment breach. So, okay. That is the Cortege build. 
Um, because I don't mix this with any kind of external factors, I'm gonna be doing this on a Bone Widow. The only button I'll be pressing on Bone Widow is Meat Hook, which is just gonna heal me. It does do a little bit of damage to the target that's Meat Hooked. Um, the target will probably eventually die that's Meat Hooked, but it's not gonna do significant, uh, it's not gonna do a significant amount of kills. It's gonna, I'm just gonna get a couple kills here and there with Meat Hook, just uh, healing myself. So, okay, that's Bone Widow. Let's get this started here. Gonna queue up a Persto. Now with Whispers Steel Path, um, you can't just summon your Necromech. You have to find a terminal to summon your Necromech. So if for some reason the terminal takes me longer than two minutes to find, I will restart the video. So if I get unlucky and I can't find it, I'll, I'll just restart this. So if you're if you're seeing this on YouTube, it means I did find it within two minutes. I won't be killing enemies um, while I'm looking for the terminal. There it is. All right, we have the terminal going. We'll get our Necromech out. And we will start this thing. It takes the uh, NPC a little bit to uh, monologue to you about summoning your Necromech for you to finally get it. There it is. Alrighty. There is a little bit of like a weird interaction where after you alternate fire, there's like a two or three second like delay before it lets you primary shoot again. I'm gonna meat hook real quick here just to fill my health. So you don't want to alternate fire all the time. Like you don't want to alternate fire as soon as it's filled up because you will be lowering your DPS because of that weird like uh, delay. So you only really want to alternate fire when there is a very large group of enemies that you can kill all at once. Maybe like here. So I think what I'll, what I'll do is I'll just do five minutes um, on the Cortege. I was trying to think if I was going to do 5 or 10 minutes. I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll try to do 10 minutes. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let me meet Hook again here. This is the first arc gun video I've done. So you see these zones on the ground? That's the That's the flame. That's the fire zone. And it'll spread. It'll like it'll spread out further, like the the farther away you shoot it. So like if I was to like shoot it like this way, it's gonna spread like all across there. You see it? Now there is a reason to have your Necromech built out, especially with the new Deep Archimedia. Um, like I'll use myself for instance. I had a really bad choice of weapons last week, and I basically had to use my Bone Widow for all three. Uh, um, missions. Just because the actual weapons I had were, were complete garbage. Even though they were built out. They were built out for Steel Path, like I have weapons built out, but they just were not um, good for uh, Whispers content. They were like weapons that had like innate like viral or something where enemies here are uh, resistant to it. So I'm going to hit this uh, life support. I'll probably hit the other life support too.
So I'm not I'm not trying to meat hooks uh, excessively. Even if I was, it's not going to produce a large amount of kills, so it's, it wouldn't like show it to be. Uh, it wouldn't produce a significant amount of kills for it to uh, affect like the way this weapon's going to be seen at the end. I do want to show this against the Acolyte. Um, I actually tried to do this just like right before this, and I got Malice, and he put the Mag Bubble on me, and I destroyed my own Necromech, which kind of sucked, because then you have to wait like 10 minutes for it to uh, come back. That's why I actually restarted it. <laughs> The weapon itself is not going to be great against the Acolyte, but the explosion, the alternate fire, is going to be pretty decent. Make sure I have someone meat hooked almost all the time, so I can get some health regen. We got the Acolyte coming. Hopefully it's not Malice. Malice was a little bit tough. On on a Necromech, at least. All right, we have Angst. He's a lot easier. Make sure I have someone meat hooked. See, that's the explosion. Basically took all his uh, shields out in one hit. Let's um, get some little guy kills so we can fill up that explosion again. Bam, and he's dead. Two shots. Get someone meat hooked. Gonna keep trying to farm like small life supports here, so I don't have to hit the big ones. But I might still have to hit this one right here. Eventually, not yet. Um, all Necromech weapons are gonna be battery, so you, you have to wait for them to charge up, like when they're when they're fully depleted. Just for anyone that doesn't know. Um, if you're using this as a heavy weapon, I think you get 400 shots. I am going to hit this life support here. So as you see, the Cortez is not very good at killing... Like, some of these big Necromechs, like the other Necromechs that are here, they've been up for a while. It's not super good at killing other Necromechs. Trash is pretty decent on. Other Necromechs, not so much. Uh, the Blast, like, kind of like the Acolyte, the Blast mode is probably going to do the most of those Necromechs, but it's still not going to do great. I meat hooked a guy that was like almost dead already, so I had a re meat hook. Oof. All right. My Necromech went down there. I'm not going to restart the video. I'm just going to uh, end it here. So we got it eight minutes. We got to eight minutes, and we spent about the first minute looking for the terminal, so that's about uh, seven minutes of actual, like, Necromech gameplay, and 350 kills. So 350 kills in about uh, seven minutes, and we had one Acolyte fight in between there. So that's pretty good. That's pretty decent. Um, that's how you would build the Cortez out. It's a pretty good arc gun. It's better as a heavy weapon or a Necromech gun. As an arc wing gun, because it's a flamethrower and it has limited range... Uh, you'll struggle sometimes in Arc Wing unless you're like right up on top of enemies. Uh, also, in Arc Wing, it doesn't have infinite punch through. Infinite punch through is only in the atmospheric mode. So, 
So we had nine minutes total. Um, I guess it was we were past eight. Oh no, I spent the last minute like running to extract. So when we checked that those kills, it was eight minutes in, and we had spent about a minute looking for that terminal. So three fifty in about seven minutes. So let me head back to uh, Orbiter. That's my first uh, arc gun build video. So I think I like the format. It's a little bit. Um, I have this like weird. I've been playing Warframe for so long, and I still don't know what the hell that is. That's something with the lore. I don't really understand it. Um, I, I think that format was pretty good. Uh, the problem with Lewis Circulus is it doesn't let you pull out um, Necromex for like a long time. You have like a two-minute duration with your Necromex. So I couldn't do it on Circulus. And, you know, you can use your Necromex infinitely unless it dies like it did there on whispers but you can't just pull out your necromech on whispers you actually have to look for the terminal so i think the whispers and then like besides that it would be railjack but railjack is not steel path enemies so that's not worth uh trying to test it on there so if you guys think of a better way for like a uh arc gun um format make sure you let me know but i, I think the whispers is the best way even though it's a little bit rng so yeah, that's it that's the cortege i would definitely recommend uh building it out pretty good weapon um, you get it from Deimos, and uh, yeah, that's it. If you guys liked it, give it a like, and thanks so much for watching, guys. You guys have a good day. Bye.